Well, 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 my friends. Praise the Lord. Happy Friday. Shabbat Shalom. Wherever you're watching from, it's Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, one of your favorite prophetic voices. And uh, I am feeling uh, an urgency in the spirit. And there's a number of things I want to say. And uh, this is not going to be a long broadcast. So I, I really want you to build up the room and let's uh, build up the room for the next minute or so because I want to release uh, some of my thoughts. I want to release these thoughts because um, I'm getting these visions, right? And probably me being here in Hawaii right now, because Hawaii is, is quite an open place spiritually. Um, I've been getting all these visions. Um, and, uh, you know, it's very concerning, these visions that I've been receiving. And I believe, uh, you know, there is prophetic words and warnings in these visions. And uh, God is speaking. God is obviously always speaking. He's always, he's alive. He's a living God. And uh, he's speaking clearly and loudly. And we need to understand that God is a God of patterns, signs, and symbols. He's a God of patterns, signs, and symbols. And he loves to repeat things, okay? He loves to repeat things as confirmation. So whenever you want or need a confirmation from the Lord, um, the Lord will many times repeat it with emphasis to get our attention, to speak aloud, to speak loudly, <clears throat> to say, to share, to show that this is it. This is his word. This is him speaking. This is the word of the Lord. So God is a God of patterns, signs, and symbols, and repetition. And when you study the Bible, when you study the word of God, you understand that whenever Jesus spoke in parables, I feel the Lord. Whenever Yeshua spoke in parables, that it, it was about the signs and symbols. And if you decode the signs then you will actually hack the message. There's a decoding and a hacking anointing haha, that God wants to release over the church so that the mysteries will be revealed. The hidden things will be revealed and that we will be aligned and attuned with the things of God or with the spirit of God. If you're with me today, say amen. Like I said, uh, this broadcast, I'm not going to be very long, but I do want to share some visions that I received today and in the last 24, 48 hours, it's quite disturbing. And I also want to uh, talk about, of course, there's so many earthquakes going on right now. Many, many, many earthquakes taking place right now. So I did title this an emergency broadcast because I'm gonna be ministering here in Hawaii in the next few hours. But I felt such an urgency that I need to release these visions, these words, um, because I know there's intercessors here. I know there's people of God that are gathered to pray, that are gathered to intercede, that are gathered to stand in the gap, amen. I know that there's intercessors here. If you are an intercessor, I want you to say that to me. So there's a number of things that's taking place that is quite concerning that I want to talk about today on this emergency broadcast. If you're with me today, say amen. All right, so we're gonna get right into it. Let me just drink some water here, praise God. Now, before I begin to release some thoughts, I'm going to be releasing some thoughts and facts. And then I'm going to release um, these visions that I received today. And these visions are quite alarming. But I, I want to say this first and foremost. Everything that we do in this ministry on this page, this is not about fear mongering. This is not about clickbait. This is not about... Uh, this is not a doom and gloom page, okay? I am not a turn or burn, repent type of prophetic voice, okay? 
I'm a grace guy. I love the mercies of God. I believe Jesus finished it. Jesus did it all on the cross. Amen. So I'm a finished works, grace, gospel preacher. Okay. I'm not a doom and glooms guy. But there is an urgency, Shaka, with signs going off, alarms going off in my spirit as a prophetic voice that I must confront and I must approach and I must present to the body of Christ with the platform, the voice, the influence that I have. Because I know there are intercessors that are watching, listening, and that are also feeling, sensing the same things. Amen. So I'm not a fear-mongering type of person. And this is not what this is about. Amen. Number two, I believe Jesus is on the throne. That Yeshua, he's definitely taking a nap right now on the boat somewhere. And I believe that Jesus is not moved by all these things. Yes, he's moved with mercy and compassion. But I believe that the Lord is totally secure in heaven as the Bible states. He's seated on the throne. And you and I, we should also be seated in heavenly places. Amen. We should also be taking a nap. And some of us, we need to detach ourselves. That's what I just did. I just woke up from a deep nap, right? And now I'm live on this broadcast. But some of us, we just need to take a chill pill, right? And just take a breather and it's going to be all right, right? So Jesus is on the throne. So you and I, we should have that victorious mindset with Jesus Christ as well. Number three, I do not believe this is the end times, okay? I do not believe uh, it's the end of times. I, I do believe we're in the beginning of the end of times, 100%. But I do not believe this is the end of times. Does that make sense? I don't believe April 8th is going to be the full rapture or the second coming of Jesus, right? Uh, but of course, you and your faith, right? Jesus said, no one knows the day or the hour. But there's many things that must take place before the second coming of Jesus. Many, many things. And I am not an eschatological end times teacher. That's not my forte or my strength. But every single person should be studied um, in the end times theology and eschatology as much as possible. But we must also win souls and preach the gospel. Because Jesus said that we must uh, preach the gospel to all the ends of the earth. Okay, amen. So number three, I do not believe April 8th or this month is the end of the times, okay? I do not believe that. So I, I just want to get that clear out of the way. Um, so let's let's begin here. Just continue to build up the room. Let me know where you're watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. Um, I think it's really interesting. I, I did a whole teaching on YouTube on the April 8th solar eclipse. So I want you to, you know, go and check that out. And of course, there's many other great resources, but it's not a coincidence, my friends. I mean, this is such a trip. It's not a coincidence because seven years ago, there was another total solar eclipse. Seven years ago, there was another total solar eclipse. And that was... Um, and that was in 2017. And in 2017, that total solar eclipse crossed over seven cities in America called Salem. So in 2017, seven cities, the to total solar eclipse crossed over seven cities called Salem. So many people call that the Salem eclipse. Of course, Salem means shalom. Salem means salam. It means oneness, wholeness, peace, the blessings of God. And now, this year, seven years later, some would say seven once again, God speaks in numbers, God speaks in patterns, signs, and symbols, repetition. Seven years later, 2024, in the next few days, April 8th, Sharabatia, we see that the solar total eclipse is crossing over seven to eight towns in America called Nineveh. Isn't that a trip? Isn't that crazy? Called Nineveh. Rabbi, and Nineveh is, of course, a city where the prophet Jonah uh, did not want to go to. 
Jonah was stubborn and he was actually furious that this city, this region could repent and come back to God. So he was being rebellious. He was being a stubborn prophet. But eventually he went and boom, Nineveh got saved. So I think we need to pray for the repentance, the salvation. Amen. We need to pray for the repentance and the salvation of um, Shakarabata of America. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to find this verse here. There it is. I just found it. So, and one, one other thing I want to say, that eclipse was only about two and a half minutes, less than two and a half minutes. This eclipse is actually double the amount of time. So they're saying this eclipse is lasting double the amount of time. And I, I'm not going to just talk about the eclipse today. I'm going to talk about a whole bunch of other stuff. So you stick with me. But that eclipse lasted only about two minutes, et cetera, et cetera. But this eclipse is exactly double the amount of time of the last eclipse of 2017. Now, why is that important? Because this is a Hebrew leap year. This is the year of double. This is the Hebrew leap year and the Jews believe whenever it's a leap year, there's actually twins that are impregnated. So it's double, all right? So that was a leap year, right? Uh, uh, excuse me, actually, it wasn't a leap year. 2020 was a leap year, but this is a leap year of double. So something that's very interesting is they're saying that the eclipse is going to last four minutes and 28 seconds. Four minutes and 28 seconds. So, Prophet Adrian, bless you. Four minutes and 28 seconds. And so they're saying the eclipse will last four minutes, 28 seconds. And look at this verse here. And again, I mean, you could tie any verse anywhere. But look at this verse. Jeremiah 4, 28. For this the earth shall mourn, and the heavens above be dark. For I have spoken, I have purposed, I have not relented, nor will I turn back. Wow. Shoot. Amen. Um, so we see aligned with this verse that... God is speaking biblically and it's aligned with how long this eclipse should be. Now, I think it's interesting. I want to say one more thing here. I think it's interesting because I think it's interesting because the last eclipse in the United States 2017 went this way. All right. Now imagine West Coast, East Coast it went that way. This eclipse is going this way. So it's making a weird X. It's making a weird X. Now, I know some of this might sound like conspiracy theory and a lot of prophets, prophetic people sound like weird conspirators. This is not what it's about. I'm just stating some facts to get you thinking. And we're putting it together. We're putting the dots together to glean and pull out any hidden prophetic messages that God may be speaking. So the last solar eclipse over America was West Coast, East Coast. The X went, the line went this way. The path of the solar eclipse went this way. This one is going that way. Now that makes an X. Somebody just messaged me this earlier that the last time two solar eclipses crossed an X over the Madrid Fault. And I don't know, even know where Madrid Fault is. Is that Spain? Was March 24th, 1811. And three months later, began the worst swarm of earthquakes in our country's history. In our country's history. Now, isn't that interesting? So there's, 
it's the mainland Cali Madrid fault. Wow, mainland Cali Madrid fault. So that might be where we are, California. So all I'm saying is I prophesied this earlier, is that before up to April 8th, because we understand the weather, climate, patterns, etc., up to April 8th and after April 8th, there's going to be a lot of things happening. And again, you watch my YouTube uh, broadcast on me breaking it down. Why is NASA shooting three rockets at the shadow? All right. Why are they starting up the CERN again on April 8th? Okay. So NASA and the WEF, they've partnered together. These dummies, these demonic, possessed, evil cabalists, they've partnered together because they're trying to do something on the same day as the solar eclipse. Now, and as I said, and as I shared, we need to pray because up to April 8th and then after April 8th, there's gonna be a lot of shakings, a lot of natural disasters. And I really believe this, y'all. Of course, this is an election year in America. This is an election year. So these people are gonna try to throw out all of hell and its bathwater to try to stop President Trump and to try to keep America shut down, locked down, and the world in another global reset, in the global reset. So you better know they're gonna be trying to throw out every bag and the trick. Now, this is why you need to listen to what I'm about to share right now, okay? So boom, I said, up to April 8th, after April 8th, be on guard, be in prayer. There's gonna be a lot of shaking. This is interesting because April 8th, the day of the solar eclipse, where are you gonna be? I want you to comment where you're gonna be. I'm gonna be here in Hawaii, which is very interesting out of all places because God has me in the gate of Hawaii uh, between North America and the Asian world right now. So I'm gonna be in Hawaii, but April 8th, is actually the biblical new year of the new month of Nisan. Ain't that a trip? So April 8th is the beginning of the Hebrew month of Nisan. Nisan, and Nisan is not a car company, vehicle company out of Japan. Nisan is the, is the month where the Jewish people, the Israelites left Israel. So dun 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 begins the judgment. Excuse me, the Jewish people left Egypt. So April 8th begins the new year. And and I, I talk about this a lot. There's two new years in the Hebrew calendar. This is the new year when Israel becomes a nation. And this is the time where they become a nation. They leave Egypt. And there's judgment against Egypt. I'm going to be doing a teaching the next few days about the 10 judgments against Egypt. Why was there 10 judgments against Egypt? Because each judgment was against an Egyptian God, an Egyptian deity. So April 8th begins the 10 judgments against Egypt. Begins the freedom, hear me, the liberation of the Jewish nation, of the Jewish people. It is the beginning of the month of Passover, officially. And so April 8th, the same day of this total solar eclipse, is also the same day as the beginning of the birth of God's people. The beginning of the new year, the first month of the year called Nisan. Now, is that a coincidence or is it not? The Lord is setting his people free. The Lord is causing Pharaoh to let God's people go. There is a releasing anointing that's coming forth. There is a liberation anointing and the enemies of God will be judged and God's going to do it. If you believe that, say amen. Now, I, I want to share a few things here before I go into sharing the visions that God was showing me today, that God was just downloading to me today. It's, it's quite concerning. And I believe they're gonna be happening with acceleration, unfortunately. And that's why we need to pray. This is a strictly prophetic broadcast. 
where I'm sharing prophetic intel and insight with the intercessors today so that we will be on guard in prayer so that we can stop the demonic devices and plans of the enemy. If you're with me today, say amen. Um, of course, what was it, yesterday or today? There was a 4.8 earthquake, 4.8 earthquake in New York. And uh, of course, the other day, lightning hit the Statue of Liberty. Now, uh, some people are saying the Statue of Liberty is made up of copper. It's made to attract lightning. Uh, the Statue of Liberty gets hit with lightning in New York. I'm talking about New York right now, but you need to follow this. The Statue of Liberty gets hit with lightning 600 times a year. But not like this. Not with the power voltage. Not with the amount of power voltage that it got hit with a few days ago. And to me, that is a sign that God is striking judgment in New York and in America. Now, remember this. Brazil one of the uh, wonders of the world. Brazil has the Jesus statue, Christ the Redeemer statue. Remember a few years ago that Brazil, Jesus Christ the Redeemer statue, it got struck with lightning. Who remembers that? It got struck with lightning. And then what happened? Hear me now. There was a satanic LGBTQ, a satanic parade in Brazil, that was taking place that same week. But guess what happened? Floods. Floods. Major floods took place all across Brazil. There were many deaths. Now, that happened there. This is happening here. I'm not saying that's going to happen here in New York. But look what just happened. A 4.8 earthquake. And some people will say, well, Dr. Ben, it's an earthquake. You know, this is happening all the time. Blah, 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 blah. Well, you know what? How about this? Shakaraba. This is the strongest, largest earthquake in New York and in that East Coast uh, 13 colony region since the 1880s. Since the 1880s. So it's been over 100 years. It's been a, about 150 years since this type of Phenomenon, this type of strong earthquake shaking has taken place in New York and in the East Coast, okay? Now, there was another earthquake today, some would say another, and I believe it was 4.4. There was another earthquake that took place in a New Jersey area, in the New Jersey region. Jesus, shoot. Um, there was... An earthquake that took place today in the island nation of Tonga. Remember what happened in Tonga? I think it was 6.1. What happened in Tonga a couple years ago? Volcanic eruption out of the island country of Tonga. If you don't know where Tonga is, it's closer to New Zealand and Australia. It's one of the Pacific Island nations. And I have a big heart for the Pacific Islands. I'll be in Samoa and New Zealand later this year. So today, there was also an earthquake, another earthquake in the East Coast and an earthquake in Tonga. And of course, a couple days ago, there was an earthquake in Taiwan with tsunami warnings. All right, so just keep listening to me, friends. So up to April 8th and even after April 8th, there's going to be a lot of shaking, a lot of phenomenons. There's going to be some things taking place. And obviously this prophesied in the Bible, right? Obviously the left one world order, they want this to happen. Obviously, um, you know, I mean, this is all biblical, right? So these types of things are meant to happen because the earth is moaning and groaning for the true sons of God to manifest and to arise and to take their place. Now, I want to say um, two more things before I begin to share the vision, okay? Actually, I want to share three more things before I share some visions that I received today. Emmy's saying, and Emmy's from a small island country called Pulau, 6.7 earthquake hit 
the Marianne Islands in Guam yesterday, near Guam. I think it's interesting because the earthquake that took place in New Jersey is 4.8. The eclipse is happening on April 8th, which is 4.8. 4.8 earthquake, 4.8 eclipse, 4.8 April 8th eclipse. There's something that God is speaking in the alignment, the coincidence, I think not, of these numbers, the alignment, 4.8 earthquake, 4.8 April 8th is the eclipse. And it is also April 8th, next Monday, Monday is the beginning of Nissan. All right, somebody say amen. Um, I think it's interesting. This is one of the main things I really want to talk about because a lot of people are not talking about this, okay? Um, my friend messaged me on Instagram and said, and this person lives in Oklahoma. And of course, Oklahoma is one of the, the lines or the states where the total solar eclipse path aligns with. But this person said that the National Guard huh, is being sent to Oklahoma. The National Guard, think about that. The National Guard and allegedly FEMA is being sent to Oklahoma. And some people are saying, well, it's because there's gonna be 30 plus million people all across America that's gonna you know, be in under the total eclipse or be in alignment with the eclipse. So they have to do crowd control. It's gonna be overpopulated. Uh, there's danger warnings. People are saying, oh, go and get toilet paper. Go and get food, stock up on shelves because something might happen, right? So just be prepared for this emergency, this phenomenon, this suddenly, who knows what's gonna happen. So get ready, get ready, get ready. But why is the National Guard, why is FEMA, why are they being sent to states like o Oklahoma out of all places? Shana, my friends, this, this is what I wanna get to right now. Because earlier today, I had a vision of home invasions. And Lord blood block this broadcast, amen. I'm covered under the blood in Jesus' mighty name. I saw a vision of home invasions. I saw a vision of even the letter gang, the letter government agencies, FBI, CIA. I saw the letter gang government agencies raiding people's homes, illegally, invasively invading people's homes. So the real question, and that's one of the visions that I had earlier today. For whatever reason, there's gonna be home invasions. And you need to be aware, you need to protect your house. But the government is being weaponized and demonized to invade people's homes for whatever reason. And listen, January 6th, 6th, whatever you wanna call that, that big hoax, that big charade, that big hoopla, and people are still imprisoned and falsely charged for uh, for a rinky-dink little protest? Are you kidding me? Just exercising their First Amendment right of the freedom of free speech? But you see, I saw a vision today of people's homes being raided and confiscated. And why is... Why is the National Guard FEMA coming to places like Oklahoma for two weeks? And Oklahoma is not the only state, you know what I'm talking about? Why is the National Guard being sent with full force? Is it just because of quote unquote crowd control, population control? My friends, there's something bigger going on. There's something way bigger, insidious, going on behind the scenes. There's a spirit of control. And once again, on April 8th, the day, the moment of the total solar eclipse, if they are, come on somebody, going to light up CERN again, this big portal that is what 
some somehow whatever destroying splitting uh uh particles and molecules of a demonic dna a portal from the underworld and if they're shooting three rockets nasa up at the shadow of the eclipse are you kidding me what are they doing what are they planning what are they preparing what are they planning what do they know that we don't know what are they doing that the little sheepling people of America and the world do not know? What do they know? So, as, as you've been following me, I've prophesied, and many other prophets have too, but just, just to state, uh, make it clear, just to, you know, shut up, I've prophesied about blackouts, shutdowns, city shutdowns. And it's all recorded publicly. My platform and my name may not be as big as some of these other prophets and prophetic people, but I've prophesied that for the last years. And I believe up to April 8th and even after April 8th, they are using this April 8th, hear me now, they're using this April 8th eclipse as a scapegoat for more control to destroy, to stop. They're using this April 8th and they are manipulating the powers of energies as a scapegoat to further their agenda of fear of control of a global reset, taking away our freedoms. So they're furthering that. Okay, so just be on, on guard and be on watch. Now, I wanna say one or two more things before we continue. <laughs> If you follow me, the prophetic word of the month for April, I shared about this vision I had. And I saw it specifically for the month of April, okay? I want you to remember this. Every month is a realm. It is a realm, okay? It's a realm in God's calendar, a realm in the chronological order of God's movement. So every month is a realm. And in the prophetic word of the month for April, which I released on March 27th, okay? Wednesday, March 27th, publicly, I shared this vision that I had of a dark spray, like a mist, a dark spray being released. And it was like a pharmacaea spell, a spell of witchcraft, of incantation to choke people out to kill people out, to destroy. And I saw this dark spell going forth and uh, it was causing people sickness. It was causing people to get sick and to, to die. But it's really a spell from the pit of hell. Um, pharmacaea, pharmaceutical witchcraft. So I released that and guess what's happening right now? Friends, guess what's happening right now? They are saying this new bird flu. <laughs> you can't make this up. There's a new bird flu. Let me just bring it up here right now. They're saying this new bird flu, the outbreak began March 25, 2024. And why the heck? is this new bird flu, they're calling it the HPAI or the H5N1. They're saying this bird flu was in dairy cows, of all, of all animals, of all creatures. Of course, you're gonna take out our steaks first. Okay, you're gonna take out the milk because the milk is for the milk of the babies. You're gonna take out the substance sustenance for our babies in the United States, for our children. So March 25th, 2024, this bird flu began to show up. And the scientists, oh my gosh, these Fauci's and these Mickey Mouse Disney woke clubs are at it again. This bird flu, the scientists are saying, is a hundred times stronger than Corona Bologna. A hundred times stronger and more deadly than COVID-19. Are you kidding me? COVID-19 took place in 2020, election year. 
Now, once again, 2024, an election year. This is taking place again. Stop with the charades and the hoopla and the nonsense. They're doing it again, my friends. I shared, uh, we've been talking about new strains and they're not gonna let this up. But they're trying to release this epidemic again. This epidemic of sickness. Do you know why? It's depopulation. It's control. It's the one world order. It's that mark of the beast. It's that antichrist spirit of death. And they're trying to cleanse the earth, purge the earth of what? Of people like you and me. Jesus loving, godly, righteous citizens. They're trying to purge the earth of people like you and me because they are so afraid of Christians. They hate Christians. They, they're okay with Hindus, Buddhists, and atheists. They're okay with any other religion, right? Because it's just like universalism, it's transgenderism. They're okay with any other religion, but they hate the Christian faith, the Judeo-Christian faith. They hate Jesus because it's anti-Christ. All right, if you're with me today, say amen. Give us some hearts and likes. I know this is pretty intense, but I knew I needed to share this emergency broadcast and I'm just releasing the words and visions and some facts, thoughts and truth and I'm letting the chips fall where it may. Now I want to share. Ha ha, ha ha ha. I want to share some visions that I received today. Some visions that I received today. And listen, my prophetic antenna is up, is, is on alert, alert. I shared April is the month of alert, alert. Sirens going off, sirens going off. I'm here in Hawaii. And uh, just like every single one of you, I think we're all going a little cray cray, right? It's the repetition. It's the full circle mirroring of what happened in the beginning of January, in the beginning of 2020. It's the same scenario right now, y'all. They're trying to keep us distracted and they're trying to fry our brain and mind with all these attacks, with all these things happening every single day and they're responsible for it, that demonic kingdom. But I wanna share some visions that I had. Vision number one, as I shared earlier, the first vision I had today, and I'm sharing this so that we could pray and pray against it, really. But vision number one, I saw FBI, CIA raids in and against people's homes for no reason, just for control, just like the Gustavo of the Nazis. They're gonna come and they're gonna try to take your guns away, try to take your freedom away, they're, they're going to try to muzzle you so you don't speak out on anything, freedom of speech. So I saw vision number one, random raids taking place in good American citizens' homes, random raids. So pray into that, pray against that. And I believe there's April, a phenomenon of the total, total solar eclipse, that is a part of it. There's no way in heck that the National Guard and FEMA need to be somewhere for weeks at a time just because of this alleged solar eclipse. Are you kidding me? What the heck are you guys doing and planning under the sheets and under the table? Vision number two that I saw, vision number two that I saw is I saw, this is so interesting, this was earlier today, this morning. I saw a vision of flocks of birds, flocks of birds dying and falling from the sky, just like the movies. I saw a vision of flocks of birds literally just dying in the air and falling in the air. And... This could speak about a spirit of death or even a spirit of witchcraft. Because you understand when there's crows and when there's certain types of birds, the demonic witchcraft realm likens 
there's sorcery to these type of birds. All right, do you know that, of course, in the Torah to the Jewish faith, there's clean and unclean animals. So they would use these unclean animals, the demonic witchcraft world, they'll use these unclean animals for their ritualistic purposes, for their sacrifices. But I saw flocks of birds literally just falling in the air and dying. And uh, I believe we need to pray into this because that probably has to do with the spray that I saw. It has to do with the weather, it has to do with all of the shift that's going on. So watch for that as a sign and pray against it. Um, vision number three. I saw a very dark storm hovering over New York. Now listen, y'all, I like New York. New York is a beautiful city, beautiful state, but what they've done to it is trash. And this is me speaking as a Los Angelino. I'm born and raised in LA, I love my city, but what the heck is going on in New York right now? What the heck is going on, guys? My heart breaks. And you can't expect to persecute, falsely persecute a man that God is using. And obviously God is anointed like President Trump and think you can get away with it. You elitist, abortionist, loony, left-wing people allowing an invasion of illegals into your city and state. But I saw a dark storm over New York. And then I saw like a storm tsunami coming. Now, this is really interesting, y'all. I saw a major tsunami overcoming and hitting New York, a major tsunami. I don't even know how that's possible because the Atlantic Ocean is, is different from the Pacific Ocean. But I saw a tsunami coming and there's a dark storm that's hovering and coming over New York. So we need to pray for New York. We need to pray that things really get turned around because this is what they're wanting to do and this is what they're planning. Number four, the fourth vision I, I saw today, and I believe it was the Lord because I'm connected with God. I'm aligned with the Holy Ghost and I wouldn't say anything or do anything, have anything if I didn't believe there was revelation or an unction of the Holy Spirit in this. Vision number four, I saw a falling of a large tall building. And this is specifically in New York. I saw the falling, the collapse, the destruction of a large tall building in New York. We really need to pray y'all. Of course, 9-11, the terrorist attacks was a major hoax. That was the beginning of the fall in a sense the public fall of America as a nation, as a country. But we need to pray because I saw a major tall building falling and collapsing in New York. Now, I know it feels and looks like I'm kind of picking on New York right now, but I think New York is on God's heart. New York is on God's heart because they're trying to destroy the New York Stock Exchange. They're trying to destroy, thanks, uh, Prophetess Kayla, you said New York was originally America's capital, absolutely. They're trying to destroy the New York Stock Exchange. That's what they're trying to do. Vision number five, this is very interesting. I saw unusual sea creatures I saw unusual sea creatures coming up to sea level. You know, unusual, dark, deep sea creatures that are in the deep, right? And I saw unusual sea creatures rising to the sea, to the waters, both dead and alive, both dead and alive. And this is all around the world, not just New York. But I saw unusual sea creatures coming, rising from the depths of the waters onto sea level. And they were both dead and alive. Now, I remember 
few years ago, I was here in Hawaii. And I'm here in Hawaii right now. A few years ago, I was in Hawaii. And I began to prophesy by the unction of God. About like some whales or some deep things rising up. Well, guess what? A few days later, there was this weird creature that washed on the shore. Let me get that here. Weird creature that washed on the shore. Shut up, bada, 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 bada. Anyways, you could just Google all that. So I saw these sea creatures rising up, dead and alive. So to me, that is a sign of some things going on in the fault lines in the dark underworld of Sheol. I believe Sheol, the waiting room of hell, is actually in the pit of the earth, the center of the earth. And I did a whole teaching on that. You can watch that on our webinar uh, on YouTube. But friends, Shana Mandiara Bandiara Ba. Florida Keys has been having fish spinning for months now. Lots of endangered sawfish dying spinning. Look at that. See, on, on, on. So, in this month of April, this is such a prophetic, strategic month, y'all. We need to pray, and I want to encourage you. Get your health up. Get your immune system up. We're covered by the blood. Tonight here in Hawaii, I believe I'm going to do a teaching on the blood. Because we really need to be covered. And the blood covers us. And that spirit of death, that angel of death, is going to pass by. Now, the last vision I want to share... Man, this is heavy, man. This is heavy. I don't like I don't like talking about this type of stuff, but someone has to say it. Shoot. I saw crowds and crowds of bodies outside. Crowds and crowds of bodies. They're trying they're trying to destroy us, guys. They're trying to destroy us. They're trying to kill us. Pray against the spirit of death. Pray against the spirit of death. Because that's what they're trying to do. This month and beyond. That is their purpose. That is their intention. They're trying to have mass genocide. That's what's going on. Russia, Ukraine, Israel. Earthquakes, natural disasters, calamities. That's what they're trying to do. Mass genocide. I'm Korean. Remember two years ago, what happened in Korea? What happened at the Travis Scott concert in Houston, Texas? Crowds of people got stomped on and died because of an insidious, evil, demonic spirit that possessed the people like a riot. So friends, we need to pray against the spirit of death, this spirit of death, because the enemy is bloodthirsty. The enemy is bloodthirsty. And ever since, Hear me now, ever since Roe versus Wade was overturned nationally in the United States, amen. And it's gonna stay overturned in Jesus' name. Kamala, Biden, don't you dare. Do not even think about it, buddy. Mike Johnson, do not even think about it. But ever since nationally Roe versus Wade has been overturned, there's been a lack of of abortions in America, a lack of baby sacrifice, human sacrifice. So they're bloodthirsty, they're blood hungry. I know this is some gross stuff, I'm sorry, but I have to share this. I have to help get the people awake and aware. 
because I saw a vision of corpses, corpses, corpses of people, mass crowds of people all across America and the earth. Now I want to close with this. So those are the six visions here. I want to close with this. The Lord is with you. God is on your side. Everything's going to be all right. It's not the end of the world, but there's a lot of stuff happening. A lot of stuff happening. And it's all intentional. It's all an appointed time, which means a time of harvest. So there is judgment taking place. April 8th is the beginning of the Hebrew month of Nisan, which is the beginning of the judgments on and against Egypt. So at the same time, there's judgment, there's also cleansing. There's freedom, there's liberation, there's purging. At the same time. So we must rise up, we must pray, we must intercede. Cover you, your family under the blood. Take communion daily. Be watchful. Take your vitamins, take your supplements. This bird flu is so demonic from the pit of hell. So there's gonna be mass deliverance, my friends. Mass, mass deliverance. And be aware that even in the next few days to week, they're gonna to try to shut this down again. Y'all, it's Friday here, Wednesday. We started our conference here in Hawaii. Guess what, I'm heading to the church, boom, I get notified. The church building it has a power outage because the whole neighborhood where the church building is has a power outage. Coincidence, think not. And the locals here in Hawaii are telling me that ever since the Lahaina fires in Maui, there's been random sudden power outages in neighborhoods all across Hawaii. Bam, 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 bam. Everywhere, everywhere, all across Hawaii. Why is that? Because they're reconfiguring something. They're testing us like lab rats. And they're reconfiguring things behind the scenes, under the table, so that they can shut us down, control. So I believe in the next week, just be aware of more of this being canceled, shut. So pray, 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 pray. I love you all. Share this broadcast. This bears witness with you. Lots going on. And I want to encourage you. Go to my YouTube channel, Benlam Global, to watch the whole teaching as I discuss the phenomenon and idiosyncrasies of April 8th. I, I do a whole hour teaching on my YouTube channel about April 8th, the solar eclipse. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. Pray with me, pray for me. I'll be ministering literally in two hours now here in Hawaii. Then tomorrow I go to Kona, Hawaii, the big island. I'll be ministering in Kona. The next week, I'm going to be in Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. That's right, y'all. Pray for our airplanes. I'm telling you. Pray for our airplanes. Pray for our vehicles. I love you. Bless you. Shabbat shalom.